well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. on Papa as he sits in his office at the Accelo Pictures Corporation in Hollywood. For the moment, he's alone. Then, the door opens and... Hello, Papa. Are you busy? Huh? Oh, hello, Mama. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very busy. When you're busy, do you always sit with your feet up on the desk like that? Well, oh, Mama, my feet are tired. I was walking around all morning trying to see what was going on. Hmm. What was going on, Jake? I don't know. Fifty miles I walked to find out what was going on. I could have walked a million, and I'd still know as much as I do now. <laughs> Sidney says we are in production on the big picture. That's very nice. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> because I wouldn't be knowing if it is or not. Don't Sidney and Harold know it is? Sidney and Harold? Sidney and Harold? <laughs> All they can say is terrific. Then it must be good. Mama, they say that so much during the day, I don't know what is good and what ain't. Today, the lunch was terrific. Yesterday, the weather was terrific. So in the afternoon, it rained. Well, the boys can't help the weather. <laughs> to hear them talk about themselves, you'd think they've got everything to do with the weather and everything else. Mm, they're very smart. Maybe. Didn't they think up the idea for the picture? <laughs> I'm afraid of that. Jake, the trouble with you is this. You got... But are you listening? Uh, yeah, 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 ma'am. I'm listening. Then why you got your eyes closed? Do I listen with my eyes? You look like you're sleeping. And it's very, very bad manners to sleep when somebody's talking to you. Mama, look, what you're going to say, I could hear in my sleep. You're going to tell me that the trouble with me is that I don't have young ideas like Sidney and Harold. So, you're a brain reader? A mind reader. You ain't it. So I ain't a mind reader. I'm only very tired and very busy. What have you got to do? <laughs> Sidney says I gotta sign the production okays. They think up what I gotta spend, then I sign the checks and the report. So, when I think I shouldn't be spending some money for something that I think is foolish, I don't say. And you shouldn't. Yeah, I shouldn't. The only trouble with that is that when I talk to Sidney and Harold, they talk me into signing. Then I get a headache. Well, just remember, Jack, in any business there's a headache. Yeah, and in this business I got two of them with names, Sidney and Harold. Papa, why don't you relapse this afternoon and go with me to a movie? A movie? <laughs> Mama, I make movies. I don't go to see them. Never mind. You should take it soft for a couple of days and then you'll feel better. But I can't leave the office today, Mama. Why not? Why not? There's a man coming to see me. Look, Mama, why don't you go to the movies, huh? I don't like to go alone. When I go alone, I haven't got nobody to tell me what the pitch is about. You haven't got... No, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama, I'll tell you what. You, 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 you read a book in the lobby, huh? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You're a smart guy. Now, look, can. Mama, I'm not wanting to go to a movie. I'm you telling you... You're always wanting... Hello, Bob. Oh, hello, Sarah. Sarah oh, yeah. Hey, where's Sidney? Any in his office? Nope, I just left there. Wasn't around anywhere. Oh, now i got to walk around again until I find... Papa, him. you should sit still if you're tired. But, uh, Say more. Huh? Let you and I take a walk along the boulevard. It's such a lovely day. Well, if you don't need me no more, Papa. Need you? <laughs> Mama, I'm so busy, I'd be glad if you and Sarah would go for a walk. You huh? shouldn't try to push us off that way. That's all right. We'll go for a walk. All right, Mama. I'll see you this evening. Yeah, yeah. Come home early, Papa. I'll huh? come home just as soon as I find out what Sidney and Harold did today. Yeah, I mean, I'll come home if I'm able to walk after I do find out. All right, darling. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> Goodbye, Sarah. Goodbye, Mama. See Goodbye. you later. Goodbye. Come on, Ma. We'll go across this way and come right out on the boulevard. Oh, shortcut, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> there. See? Just a couple of steps. We're out on the boulevard. Yeah, yeah. Mm, what a lovely day. So we'll walk slow and enjoy it. Sure. Here's the gate, Ma. Mm -hmm. I can see it, Sarah, darling. There we are. Let's walk out on the strip. Strip? Strip of what? Just a strip, Ma. Oh, so we're on a strip. 
Even though Strip's got to have a name. Well, that's what they call this out here. This is part of Sunset Boulevard, where all the fancy shops are and the nightclubs, and, well, they call it the Strip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they gotta give it a funny name. It ain't a street. It's gotta be a strip. <gasps> Look, Sarah. Oh, yeah. oh, you shouldn't be making me jump like a jumping jack. What's the matter? Oh, look over there, Ma. Right, look over there. That sign. See? The Swami Yoga Chandra. Psychic readings. Tells your name, your address, and telephone number. Oh, my, ain't that wonderful. That's in case you get lost, huh? Oh, no, Ma. He doesn't. Well, I can't explain it to you exactly, but. He tells you those things. Well, so would a policeman if you was lost. Oh, you still don't understand, Ma. That means he's psychic and can tell you those things without asking any questions. <laughs> so can I. Your name is Sarah Schiffbein, and your address oh, is... Oh, Ma. I got... Listen, Ma, just for the fun of it, let's go in. So what's fun about knowing where you live? Oh, you still don't get it, Ma. He tells the past, the present, and the future. Who tells him? Nobody, Ma. He just looks in a crystal ball or whatever he uses and tells your fortune. Sarah, that's very foolish. How does he know what's going to happen tomorrow? How does he know what's happening to me yesterday when he don't even know me? Well, that's it, Ma. He tells you those things without knowing. Somebody's talking foolish and it ain't me. Oh, let's go in, Ma. Maybe we'll have a lot of fun. Can't hurt anything and we've got lots of time and, oh, it'll be fun to talk about later on. Come on, Ma. Well, all right, so we'll go in. And then if I'm finding out what I'm going to do tomorrow, I won't have to do it. <laughs> I'll just be able to go past tomorrow without even coming to it. Hey, go on, sir, go on. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. But remember, all these not gold, it's jewelry. Oh, look, Ma. Uh, all these autographs of movie stars who've been here. They already knowing what they're going to do the next day. They're going to hack. So why did they come here to find out? Shh. Where's the doorbell? Why, well, there doesn't seem to be any. Maybe the swimmer can tell us where the bell is. <laughs> Swami, Ma. Uh. And for heaven's sake, don't make any breaks like that when we're in there. Sarah, use the knocker on the door. Maybe that's why it was put there. Oh, I see it. Mm. Okay, here goes. <laughs> I'm getting a big kick out of this already. I got... <sighs> Sounds like somebody's coming to the door, Ma. Well, what's the matter? Do we have to be as quiet as a couple of moose? Ain't we allowed to talk? Oh, gee, Ma, doesn't anything ever impress you? Sarah, when you get as old as I am, you won't be getting excited over finding out what your name is. Even my address and telephone number shouldn't make me nervous. Ooh, look. Please enter. Has she got a headache? Shh, that's a turban. Oh, thank you. We wanted to get our fortunes told. Well, the Swami does not tell fortunes. He reads the psychic vibration. Oh, you have, of course, an appointment? An appointment? For what? And the Swami is very busy. Oh, he's busy. Well, we'll come back in a few days. We're not anxious to know our names. Ma. Come on, sir. Uh, no, we didn't have an appointment. No. No, you see, we were just walking along the stripe and we seeing the signs, so we came in. Oh, I see. Oh, wait here one moment, please. Oh, uh, what name shall I say? Our name. Ma. I, I beg your pardon, madam. Uh, what's he saying? But I must present your name to the Swami. Why should you be making him a present of our names when he's knocked them already? Oh, Ma, for Pete's sake. Uh, we would like to see the Swami. Uh, thank you. You'll wait here, please. Uh, in case the swimmer gets socked, my name is Bloom and this is my daughter. Oh, Ma, you mustn't act that way. Sir, I'm not acting to you anyway. You're saying the man will tell our names without saying anything or asking us. But this man's asking our names right away. Oh, gee, I hope he tells us something exciting. Maybe we're going on a long sea voyage or something like that. Sarah, why don't you tell me you're going away? You shouldn't be keeping secrets from your mama. Well, I meant he might tell us that. Why should he? Oh, Ma, you're impossible. Maybe he'll tell us what's going to happen tomorrow. Or, or the next day, or... Sarah, what difference is that making? Why should you be wanting to know? Don't you like surprises? And if Papa would know we're here, he'd be having a fight. A fit, Ma. I know Papa, he'd be having a fight. Maybe only with himself did he have it. Where did the man go? I don't know. Back in the other room someplace. Sarah, we should get out of here right away. Well, what's the matter There's now? There's something burning. I smell it. Oh, that's incense. Hmm comes from that little idol on the mantel there. I don't know what you're talking about. This is all foolishness, and it's going to cost money, and besides that... Oish! I knew I smelled something burning. There's the fire engine. Oh, Ma, that was a, a gong. The Swami will see you now. This way, please. Go ahead, Ma. Oh, no. You're going for it, Sarah. Well, all right. Come on. Oh, one at a time, please. What's the matter? Couldn't the swimmer be telling two names at once? Hey, very well. You may both come in. The Swami will give you a double reading. Will it cost more? The Swami has one price. What is it? Oh, Ma, please. Sir, I don't know what he charges. Shh. Never mind that now. Come on, Ma. In this room, please. Be seated, please. Oh, it's dark in here. 
What's the matter? Can't he afford to pay for the electric lights? The vibrations on the psychic plane need no light. Good. Shh. Can't we see him? What is it you wish to know? Nothing. But, Mimsaib, you must want to know something. So we shouldn't have an argument? Uh, we'd like to know a lot of things. Tell us. Wait a minute, Ma. Uh, we just want a reading. Ah, yes. Very well. It, uh, it appears that you are going on a long trip. Again? We just had one. Please, Mem Saib, I must not be interrupted. But we just had a trip. Why should we be taking another one? Oh, Ma, please. Uh, it is nothing. I, I say that you are going on a long trip. You cannot stay in one place long. Uh, for 25 years I stayed in New York. Maybe 25 years ain't long, huh? Madam, I must ask you to be quiet. Please. Concentrate so that I may tune myself to your vibration. Sarah. Yeah. Look at the drapes. Cheap material it is in New York. I could get it for one fifty a yard. Maybe one dollar if Papa's cousin still works at the... Madame, place. concentrate a little more. Concentrate more. I am, sir. I am. Ain't I got my eyes shut? Now I shall... Oh, I just happen to remember. Uh, something is troubling you. Something that may be cleared up by the aid of the astral forces. Sarah, what's he talking about? I mean, you have a problem, Mem Saib, one that has troubled you for a long time. I'm telling you that I... Madame, you I... should be happy that you have come to me. Your problem will be solved, smooth over in due time. For this problem that I'm quick enough. Ma, have you got something on your mind? It I comes just... to me now. Yes, it comes to me. Sarah, we got to get out of here. Ah, the solution has come to you through me. I am pleased that my humble powers have been able to solve your difficulty. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Okay, come on, Sarah. Uh, one moment, please. The reading will be five dollars. Five dollars? <laughs> you shouldn't joke like that. Madame, <laughs> the price will be five dollars. I solve the problem I cannot give my services. There's no use arguing about it, Ma. Yeah, yeah. But if Papa was here, do you know what he would say? Fui. Five dollars the man charges so that I should be reminded to go home and turn the stove off under the potatoes. 